Hi YouTube from the back of my steering wheel. This is Dre from Closet Go Around here. I am filming in my car because I'll lower the music even though I'm having so much fun. I am filming for my car because I want to just get right into the Goodwill bins when I get there. Um, I am going at, what time is it? It's 11.56, so I'll be there in 10 minutes and I just wanna go in there and um, see what I can find. The thing about the Miami Goodwill bins is I never know, so this location is actually interesting. It's like every three hours, they make everybody exit. Like literally pay or you have to go outside and you have to wait about 30 minutes outside in the Miami heat without any air conditioning um, before you can be like back in. And I think it is, I think that happens now actually like 12 or 1230 and then it happens again at three, I think. I'm not really sure. So I want to go and make sure that that doesn't happen and I get there for a good, you know, few hours so I don't have to exit and wait. Today I'm going to be looking for fall transitional pieces. I already have a ton of maxi skirts on my Depop and Poshmark. So I love maxi skirts. So I'll definitely be looking for those. I'm not looking for bulky items unless it's absolutely amazing, like an insane lower jacket or something. I just don't have that much hanging space in my 700 square foot apartment. So I'm looking for things that can be folded and packed away neatly. So maybe some nice cool cottage core sweaters, fairy grunge sweaters, anything Y2K, anything like that. I'll probably stay away from jeans, jeans, I don't know, I hate holding onto jeans. Um, cool pants, of course, I'll take, so things like that. Anytime I go to the thrift, I'm honestly an open book. I don't like to go with things in mind because I feel like I limit myself to really everything that's out there. So I'm just gonna go in there, see what I can get. I'm super stoked that I have a lot of time to be able to go thrifting today. I am at the start of my third NFL cheer season, and our first game was last Friday. So it's about to be very busy for me for Q4. We have, is it nine home games this year? So um, very excited for that. Also though, I did kind of hurt my back, which I'm a bit concerned about, and if you have been to the bins before, you may know what I'm talking about, but I tend to pull my back when I'm at the bins from reaching over, and I did sprain it a little bit in practice, so um, I just need to watch for that and hope that I don't further injure it. So as long as I'm all healthy and good, this should be a long and fruitful binge trip. A big hello to those of you new to my channel and for those of you returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in again. I like to give a little bit of background about myself because I think it gives a clue into the type of items that I like to thrift. I am going into my third year as an NFL cheerleader. I was a professional dancer growing up. The past 10 years I worked a slew of different uh, co various corporate jobs. My most recently I was living in Brooklyn working my dream job in the music industry as a partnerships manager for a electronic music company that operates very similarly to a smaller scale Ticketmaster, but instead of doing those big sort of events like at MSG, we handle the tickets for nightclubs, music festivals, any sort of underground events for people all around the world. And we also operate as a successful editorial publication, very similar to a Rolling Stone. By working in music and dance, I'm all about expressing yourself creatively, and I find the same thing for fashion. I love going out to thrift stores and finding things that, you know, regular people are not gonna find at Nordstrom or Aritzia. Why look like everybody else when you can find your own unique pieces and style it in a way that you want? So I'm about to pull into the parking lot. They don't allow filming at this Goodwill location, so I may need to film and then do a dub over with my voice of the things that I find instead of filming live, but I'll see what I can do um, because I need to be really incons inconspicuous about it. And I don't wanna get kicked out because this one's only 10 minutes from my house. So I'm very lucky that I have it so, so close by. So I'm about to pull in and let's bring you with me and see what we find. And I forgot to mention what I love about this Goodwill outlet is it's right next to a regular Goodwill. So you can kill two birds with one stone and go to both. So there's no carts. I'm going to wait for one and it is pretty crowded. I will be dubbing over when I'm in the bins. I'm on a mission, so sometimes I don't have enough time to talk. But the first bin that I found, I found this amazing paisley matching set bikini. And then I also found this crochet piece out of the corner of my eye. Anytime that I find crochet or anything knit at the bins and it's in good condition, I am almost always going to grab it with me. 
Here are both items laid out. I love that this is a mini midi swing dress with floral embroidery detail and that it's buttoned down. It's in perfect condition. And here's the bikini. Again, just a better view of it. This piece killed me. I love the vintage tag. I love the beading throughout and it is a knit crochet piece. It's everything on the head, except there is this dark staining in the center. Okay, this may seem like an odd snag to you, but I have been on the hunt for a pair of bloomers and these are in perfect condition. I don't know this brand. I hope they're vintage. They are super cute in perfect condition. I also found this fairy grunge midi skirt and it has this cute silver sequin dangly pieces. It kind of looks Indian inspired and some crochet pieces. I loved the color of this. It is a very Miami teal color. Vintage guess, love it, but it does have some stains on the front. I love the rhinestones, but absolutely cannot get Shein. I'm going to Greece in two weeks, and this is the perfect 100% cotton transitional piece that I'm looking for to wear over a bikini. I can wear it on a boat, I can wear it to dinner. Perfect, and it's so lightweight. This I'm gonna leave behind. It is a white, I believe it was exhilaration bikini top. I found this Ecote top, which is an Urban Outfitters brand, but out of style. And I don't, not really crazy about the waffle knit. And I did find this insane Alice McCall jumpsuit. If you don't know this brand, she's a high-end designer sold on Revolve. I haven't seen this piece before, but it's in perfect condition and I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy I found this because I actually thrifted this about a week ago. The same exact skirt. I love the boho tie-dye style and it is 100% cotton in a size 2X, which I love. I got excited by leather pants. I pulled them out. They are Zara, but the bottom is a straight leg and looks like they were cut. Not very in style, but I do love this crochet adjustable skirt. That's so cute. The beading on this definitely caught my eye and I can tell that this is going to be a nicer, higher quality piece by the details on that and the thin straps. I have never heard of this brand, but by the tag, it looks like an expensive brand, so I decided to grab it. This is a fun staple summer piece by Princess Polly. This is supposed to be a fall haul, and these are the only two fall pieces I've found so far. I like this champion crew neck, but I'm a little bit uncertain of the style with the hoodie, and I do like this Adidas hoodie. I just need to pull that through. This is so funny. I don't know who made this. I will not be getting either of these dresses because I'm supposed to be looking for fall items, but I wanted to show you both of these anyway because I love the colors. This is by Vintage Brand XOXO, and then this is Fashion Nova, definitely donated by the same girl. This is almost a hit for me. I'm so surprised I found a fur jacket. Oh, so cute with her name embroidered in there. At the Miami Bins, I did not think that I would find winter wear, but it's not really a style that I would go for. This was such a buzzkill. Juicy children's. I love finding anything beaded in sequin at the thrift. However, this style is just not doing it for me. I find these a lot actually thrifting. Even though it's 100% silk, stylistically, it's just not in trend right now. And I did like this jacket. It was 100% genuine suede leather. And I like the color of it. It was perfect for fall, but it was missing a belt. So I did not get it. Some highlights of the things I found so far, right here on the top of my car, I have two scarves that I like to pack for Depop packages. I found this really cute Mexican inspired fringe halter top. It's like a size extra large or large. I love the bright yellow color, perfect for music festivals and love the embroidery. Found some white pieces. They need to be washed, but worth taking since it's from the bins and we're trying to get the stains out because I love the crochet style. This could be perfect for grease. Cute slip there too. Then I found this really pretty color green dress. This actually ended up being from Shein, and it looks like a pepper mayo dress, so I was fooled. And then I found this cute sweater that I was on the fence about. I'm not crazy about this coupe neck, but the hem is gorgeous. Look at the beading detail and floral embroidery, but that oval scoop neck, I'm just not a fan of. And here, they are rotating in new bins. Found some matching Nike shoes in the bins. I never find matching shoes at the bin, so I wanted to show that you can find these here. I wanted to show this, so the warehouse in the back is full of stuff. I can't even begin to explain the amount that we overconsume in the world that they can just dump stuff out like this. 
finally I found a fall piece. I love this vintage tag, but I did end up leaving it behind because I thought it was a little bit too basic, but I did find this amazing Lululemon Align tank. I love this Wisconsin crew neck, perfect for University of Wisconsin people or just for Wisconsin pride. I love the color and there's a different view of the back. Found this perfect Academia Argyle back to school cropped vest. I just grabbed these from the new bins that they rotated in so you can see everybody going crazy over there. I really like the style of these. I think they would be perfect for Greece, but the toe is a bit yellowed and a little bit worn so i am going to have to try them on and just see how they look but i think they're really cute with the square toe and i also found this pair of converse in my size they're in excellent condition and i love the black color i have them in white i don't have them in black essential chucks to have perfect for back to school as well here's a peek of all the goodies i have so far and here are some new bins being rotated in that I decided to wait for before I left. I was so excited to find this vintage juicy tag that I can spot from a mile away, but I was disappointed at the style of this juicy dress. And it looks like those are stains that you just can't get out. Here's an update on my car. I found this Lulu bag that I can transport all of my goods out of since they don't give you bags at the Goodwill bins and more crochet pieces and winter stuff. I was devastated by this piece because this is an amazing knit crochet vintage grandma core chunky oversized sweater but the yellowing I don't think you can fix it even though it's amazing. I love finding vintage BB or BCBG especially in a tracksuit set style. I like the sequins on this but it was missing the drawstring so I couldn't get it. I found this grunge hoodie which I know will sell amazing on Depop. It has like spray paint pink skulls on the front and the sleeves very on trend for fall and very goth inspired too this is by hot leathers and the last look at the updated cart and here are the bins empty because they just told everybody to either exit or pay for their goods so this is what it looks like before they rotate in new bins and here's everything i'm going to purchase all in all i spent 31.62 for all these items it is so hot my car reads 98 degrees i am surprised i don't look as sweaty as i feel so i spent 31.62 was it at the bins and now i'm just gonna drive over and see what the regular goodwill has it's easier to soar honestly and find winter stuff at the goodwill when it's all hung up especially in miami where if you're in the bins um there's not a lot it's gonna be a lot of summer stuff so i this is just a better way to organize um to find winter stuff so let's go in here we are it's about to storm no better thing to do right now than thrift okay as you walk in it's a big store there's men's all to the left and here is women's sweaters to the right so let's see what they have a look in the larger sizes these are small here's some large over here i like to look at bigger sizes just because it's more functional got distracted by this adorable set first of all look the original tags are still on settled touch miami florida how cute i love this and it looks like there's shorts attached or something pants let me attach it never mind i would have really liked this if these were like high-waisted shorts but it's a long kind of midi skirt or above the knee skirt so not really in style and neither is this really but if the shorts were in uh, i would have reconsidered very sidetracked but the new racks just came out i like that i just found a cause bikini matching set really nice and this is cute i don't think it's victoria's secret no it's not this is amazing can't believe I just found this, but there's no matching top. Still worth taking, I think. I'll con reconsider. Although something was cut off the back here, it looks like. So I'll be putting that back. Okay, nothing too good there, but here's a bunch of new racks. So let's see. Actually love, love, love this. It has the hook and eye enclosure. I bet this is like BB or gas or something. 
cool. Love that corset style back. And, oh, let's see. It is gas. <laughs> and it is $10. So it is pretty little size small. I'm an extra small, so I'm not sure if this is going to fit. And I don't really know if I'm really going to wear this. Yes, I live in Miami. But actually, this would be really cute with, like, combat boots and, like, a big fur jacket or some sort of, like, you know, extra jacket. So maybe. I'll think about it. This would be so cute if this was just a corset top. I love the rosette detailing, but it's a little girl's communion dress or something, but very cute. These are gorgeous cargo pants. I don't know this brand matchstick. Looks like Japanese or something. And the back is cool with this tie. Very, very cool. Gonna try these on. Oh my God. No way. I just found that Hervé matching top but there's no way I'm gonna find that bottom again unless it's still there. But it looks like it was cut, so let me go over there and see. Also, I like this white top. This is like an Aritzia brand sports bra. Um, what else is in here? I gotta go back and get that. Let me, let's take a look at it. Hopefully it's there. Unless somebody moved it here already. Shoot. This would happen. Oh, these are very cute. Very cute summer shorts. Huh, I'll leave them though. That is just crazy. I can't. Okay, let's go. Let's go check. Taking you with me. Yep, somebody took them. Somebody took them. Shoot. This is a cute skirt, though. A cute mini skirt. Shoot, somebody took the bottom. Ugh. That is so frustrating. Oh well, now I have the top. Which is still cute, I guess. Come wear this as like a going out top with a leather pants. Cute fabletic set. Shorts and a button up. That's cute. Okay, this is amazing. It's a matching crochet set. Adorable. I'm gonna take that. How exciting. I rarely find matching sets at the thrift, matching set bikinis, and this is just so cute. Brand is La Playa. I'll definitely be taking that. That is so cute. So cute, so, so cute. Coffee stain. Don't feel like trying to get that out necessarily and spending full price. So fortunately I'll leave it. This is very cute too. Definitely feels like 100% cotton. Michael Kors but also no material tag, so I will leave it. And two gorgeous skirts. This one is 100% cotton, elastic waistband, gorgeous. And how amazing is this patch patchwork cottage core midi skirt? Love it. This is by the brand Gilly. Don't know it, but it's very cute. This is so insane, an ultimate fairy grunge moment. It's so beautifully thick. There's many layers to this skirt. It's gorgeous and it has this metallic strings in it. And it's a vintage, very vintage, Forever 21 tag, 100% cotton. And all the maxi skirts are seven or eight dollars. So something I like to think about. I love that side zipper enclosure. It's very pretty. You can kind of see the volume here. I just went through all the maxi dresses and this is what I found. So this I feel like is not capturing as well on camera, but this is a beautiful sequined top. It is brown and cream color. It is a halter style. I don't really have an occasion to wear this, but it is BCBG, which I love finding and it is my size. So I don't know, not bad. So I need to decide on this. This isn't really my style either, but I wanted to show this cause I thought it was super cute. Love Max Studio and this would be really cute with a pair of like knee-high boots. Perfect fall transition piece. Very cottage fairy core. More so definitely cottage core. And then, oh, it's always at war with the hangers. And I thought this was cute too, but not really my style. If I was living in Brooklyn, this is something I would wear, but I'm not there anymore. I'm in Miami and people just don't dress like this here, but it's 100% linen. And it is vintage Finity dresses. It is really pretty and I like that slit there on the bottom. This too I feel like is not capturing on camera as much as it is in real life. But I guess I'll decide on these. 
They finally made it to sweaters. I love, love, love this first one. Perfect for fall. This would be really cute with like a black fairy maxi skirt, 100% cotton. And this is XOXO, great brand. And I wanted to show you these two. So I found two Ralph Lauren pieces. This is a beautiful knit wool crochet piece. And also found this jacket behind it. It's really cute, very Barbie core. But I don't like that neither of them are obviously Ralph Lauren. So I'm looking for the horse logo. So I will not be picking those up. So cute, Nike windbreaker. But the price is, I love that vintage tag, 12. If this was at the bins, I definitely get it. But for this price, I'm not gonna get it. Love-hate relationship with this top. I love this ruffle frill, whatever this is at the top, but it's a little bit too boxy and I'd like for the sleeves to be more bell. If this was tighter and longer like a cardigan, this would be amazing, but it's not, so gotta leave it. All right, what's this green thing? Talbots. I'm looking for anything epic, especially, especially since I'll be paying up for it. Oh, how cute is this little ranch top? I have a bunch of these on my Depop already. This is really cute, really cute ranch. Rhinestone top. This is kind of essential. <laughs> I love it. Not crazy about the V-neck, but love the print. Oh, what's this little cutie? Very sleepy. That is so cute. Love, love, love finding matching sets at the thrift. This is cute, like to wear to the airport. What is this? Aero Pastel. It is my size, set $12. I mean, $12 for a set is, is pretty good, so. I'll think about it. Even though I have so many sets, am I really gonna wear this? That isn't my thing, but it is very cute. What I just found, yes, a matching set. It is Juicy Couture, but it is the sleepwear collection, which I don't mind really. I've never seen a Juicy jacket before. This is the vintage tag. And what's iconic about it is this little patch here. If this came with the pants, that would be so, so, so iconic. I guess you could wear this with like white or black trousers. It's still cute. There's a little stain here, which I guess doesn't really bother me. But I judge dance competitions and they think this would be so cute. Yeah, with black slacks. Okay, this print. What is this? Ooh, amazing. It's a maxi. This is really print. Southwestern style, tapestry style blanket jacket what tag is this what is it collections etc extra extra large i definitely want to try this for me for that oversized fit hoping it would work i mean it's gorgeous look at that print wow okay and 12 dollars, not too shabby and it has all the buttons love the silver hardware very cute so not this season yet but i have a thing for gorgeous vintage sweaters and this is absolutely amazing look at that beading detail let's just soak this in look at the trees i think i would possibly regret not getting the sweater but then i would also be mad at myself that i got it and that i don't have room to store it <laughs> so what do you think i do have some at home in jersey but none as good as this another thing i really wanted to keep this thrifting day on a budget but this is gorgeous too ten dollars Cotton and acrylic blend. I love finding Liz Sport sweaters. I mean, can you see the detail here? It's like gold metallic. And it is a maxi cardigan sweater. Kind of dress. It could, you can wear it as a dress. And it has these beautiful pink hues in it. Let me see if I can go like this. I just love it. It is so pretty. Okay, this doesn't look like much. But if you can feel this, it is so thick and fuzzy and comfortable. This is Free People 1, and I may have to get it. It is so comfortable, perfect for fall and winter. Yes, this is wrinkly, but don't underestimate it. I love the colors of this. First of all, beautiful. I love when you see the tags. It's just honestly like holding a piece of history. And this is Michael K. Company. I love the colors of this. It is a small, so I'm definitely going to try this. I was going to completely skip the pants section because sometimes they just can't be bothered, but I saw this tag and I will pay whatever I need to pay for these. Oh, these are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's just check the price. Oh my God. Iconic. This is amazing. 
You can even add, it looks like with this, you can add straps if you want to, but it's, they're totally fine without it. Oh my God, yes. Thoughts on this, I actually really like it. It has one single button enclosure here. I kept the shoulder pads in. I like the structure that it gives and the colors are super cute. I like it. So I really like these pieces, but I want to keep my budget under $100. I love that these are my hard choices nowadays. I mean, I love the blazer. It just needs to be washed. I wonder if I can even wash that. Maybe on cold. But then that midi skirt is so cute. The cottage core one, and I love the gold Liz Claiborne sweater. Ah, deci decisions, decisions. So I just got home and I'm so excited to show you all the epic haul in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. There is a ton of stuff that I got. Here's a little sneak peek. There you go. Okay, it doesn't look like that much stuff from the top, but these things are full to the brim, full of stuff. So as I was saying, I have a lot of stuff that I did not show in the video, so stay tuned for that haul. Thank you so much for watching as always. And if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that so much. And I will see you soon, very shortly, with a Triumph Thrift haul.